It's sort of known as the ambassador of uh, Japanese methodology. Well, well, I could say there is a lot of good bartenders in my country, uh -huh. to be honest, but uh, there is always language barrier between mm -hmm. Japan and the other countries because none of the bartenders is really speaking English. But I've been in the United States before when I was a university student. Mm -hmm. so, where did, you, where did you go to university? Uh, Eastern Washington University in Washington State. For somebody who's not really familiar with Japanese bartending, right. how, do you, how do you condense the differences of what that is compared to you know, what we're used to in the United States? Well, the bartending thing is not invented in Japan, you know? And uh, so is the car, refrigerator, cell phone system, anything. Japanese is not good at the inventor stuff, but that they are good at to make it their own way. And we are island country, so we haven't influenced any other countries for a long time ago. Before I could say about the news. So we have a lot about uh, 100 years history mm -hmm. and didn't get any influence in other countries. So it's different. We are doing just old school. Mm -hmm. It's more artisan type of job than ordinary kind of uh, work. So it's going to the master to proper, proper to proper. It's been going that way such a long time. So, but uh, it's just a different, and uh, you know, the ice, ice thing, you know, in my bar I don't have ice machine. Hmm. So I buy everything from ice company. It's, but it's made, made in, in two days. So it's, you get the longer time, you get the clearer, you get harder. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, ice machine is very expensive, and we do very, we have really small places. Mm -hmm. the, you know the uh, our new PDT? Yes. Yes. I've heard it. That's a small, small, very small place. Right. So I step in behind a telephone booth. It was like twice as big as mine. <laughs> really? <A> huge place. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's. It's how, how is it? We're doing just our own way. Mm -hmm. Such a long time, but uh, I think the Western bartenders open our country. It's like uh, after Edo period, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. American uh, Mr. Perry. Uh -huh. Mr. Perry came to the open our country. Is this what's happening with bartending? I I I I feel that way. Mm. Now, getting back to the ice, mm -hmm. so. Hand cut ice, obviously, you're really known for doing work with ice. Was that, are you saying that's more of a function of lack of space in a bar? We, we've been carving ice bowl, like, I guess, 30, 40 years now. Mm. If you order the whiskey on the rock, you get the ice bowl. Mm -hmm. It's more, how to say, preparation hours, like a young bartender's job to make a proper drink because once the business hours start, they don't solve their own cocktails. They always master bartender, head bartender, solve the drink. Mm -hmm. so young bartender is just polishing, cleaning, stuff like that. So there's the only chance to give their craft mm -hmm. to the customer. So it's more, you know, it's a young bartender's job. Right. But the uh, main character is a liquid. And ice, but ice is very, very important because the one fifth, one fourth of the cocktail is water. Right. And uh, it's not about the shape either. Really? Because mm -hmm. well, I think there's, I think there's perception, you know, especially in, in the U.S., you know, that round, mm -hmm. you know, the round is the end all, be all, you yeah. know, things. But you're saying maybe not. No, because uh, people say the round ice doesn't melt, doesn't melt a long time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have edge, but it's ice. It's a mountain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it's more important things about the ice is the quality of water. Mm -hmm. Same as cutting, same as people go round ice, but it's really cloudy. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you see, uh, and I've seen a lot of ice boats like half crowded. Mm -hmm. That's air. So it melts, so that melts fast. If you have a hole, you know, hole in the 
four in the eyes, it's so man's so fast. So it doesn't matter what size it is. Uh, it's, it's not about the shape. Mm -hmm. But uh, they don't get <laughs> once you see eyes, oh, it's four. It's, it's, it's not right. It's not right. Are there parallels between sushi and yes, sushi company? chef and bartender is always compared. Mm -hmm. Because you make something just in front of the customers, mm -hmm. and uh, the chef go to the market to pick the fresh ones what they want. But uh, for us, we have a plenty of product and behind, and uh, choose the, uh, the combination and stuff. So we are very conscious to be uh, looked at by a customer in front. Of that's that's. That's why they're compared to each other all the time in our country. Mm -hmm. uh, care about the postures, cleanliness, the dressing. It's, it's a part of, directly part of uh, uh, the taste of the drink, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alice is the eye candy. Eye candy. Mm -hmm. That's the thing you can have it at home. Japanese whiskey's visibility in the United States is increasing. You know, mm -hmm. people are starting to discover it. Mm -hmm. um, we tend to be drinking it more neat here. Are we, are we getting it wrong? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Drinking whiskey neat in Scotland is pretty much sounds very natural because they're not really hot in summer. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tokyo is Japan's really humid. In summer, the consuming of a whiskey goes very down, down very much, because it's, you, you don't want to drink a room temperature whiskey in, in, in the middle of the summer. Mm -hmm. So now it's a whiskey and soda. We call it highball. It's very popular in the country. Easy to drink and really cold and puppy. Mm -hmm. It's very popular, but uh, one of it's, uh, once you get to know the uh, flavor, you don't, I, I, don't, I don't want to push them to drink it if mm -hmm. they don't want to. Mm -hmm. If you are drinking the, the whiskey the first time, I, I recommend to enjoy and taste it with the meat, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of water, you know, that's the how to uh, you know, to find the flavor. Right. But the ones you get to know, on the rock, whiskey water, uh -huh. <laughs> whiskey soda, whatever. So it's very popular mm -hmm. to, to drink it on the rock in my country. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, bar, it should be more fun. You know, if you drink it on you know, whiskey and uh, with ice ball, why not? Right. You know? The shake. Mm -hmm. Seems to be for you know Western looking at the Japanese yeah. sports. It seems to be the pinnacle of, of difference. Mm. Talk, talk about the the Japanese style shake. Again, it's different, uh, but I I think the main purpose to shaking a uh, drink is to put in air inside the drink, not only make it cold. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, like Salvatore was talking about our spirits in, in the freezer, minus 20 degrees, you know, juice and fridge, so it's cold there. Why, well then why do you have to shake? Mm -hmm. It's already cold, just pour and serve it. Well, of course you can mix, you, you should mix it, mm -hmm. uh, unify it, I could say. Uh, but that, again, Japanese and the other countries, different be, uh, between those countries, uh, the most different part is ice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I told you that that our ice is very hard, mm -hmm. and uh, basically you guys are using ice ice machines ice, and uh, you have a tin shaker, Boston shaker, atom for lots of in, uh, space inside. Right. So if you shake it in short time, you can put enough air inside to make it drink easy to drink, drink uh, make the drink lighter mm -hmm. to make the uh, drink easy. But for us, using a cobalt shaker with a very hard ice, we have to shake kind of longer. 
Mm -hmm. If I use uh, ice machine's ice with a copper shaker with a short stroke, mm -hmm. it gets watery so fast. And I've been trying to use French classic, Boston shaker, tin shaker with Japanese ice, but uh, it gets the, the equip equipment that doesn't suit mm -hmm. uh, uh, Japanese ice. So I, I don't prove that thing yet because I don't have ice machine in my bar. Right. In the new future, I would like to use American, I mean, European equipment with ice machine ice to make proper Japanese style cut. If you were to give one gift on behalf of, you know, a lot of Japanese bartender and bartending to the Western bartending, what would that gift be? What, what style or technique or thing would you say, here, here are Western bartenders, here's our gift to you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, go back to the, the, uh, Mr. Calabrese's presentation this, uh, this morning. Uh, for me, the hospitality in my bar is like 80-90%. Like uh, making proper drink is like uh, when you take a, a taxi, the driver goes to the right place, to the right place, and mm -hmm. the right place in the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that. I put so much effort to, to the drink, but uh, I like to feel it's a piece of cake, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, the hospitality, one of the ten times couldn't do well, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the hospitality really is more... It, 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 the enjoyment of the drink is directly tied to that hospitality. And my bar is really, really small. Uh, seven, eight for the bar, mm -hmm. like uh, ten, eight for the table, like uh, only five table. Mm -hmm. With me and my bartender, two bartenders. Wow. People, of course, you need the money for the business, but uh, I don't allow people to stand or wait. If it's full, sorry, come next time. And uh, I just want to focus to the customer in front of me to mm -hmm. enjoy my place, satisfy my place. So uh, even it's small, it's really difficult to take care of everyone mm -hmm. perfectly uh, when it's packed. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe I need one more bartender to give the hospitality 100%. But, uh, you know, if you look for the business, money, you have to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Allow to stand it. So, bartender is just going to uh, cut their machine. Mm -hmm. Just make it, make it, make it. And they got exhausted in the whole end mm -hmm. to make money. But uh, if I could pay my bartender rent, electric, if I have a little money for uh, something to eat, mm -hmm. and I'm very comfortable. I don't need to buy a luxury car, I don't need a huge residence, so I don't need to get so much profit. Mm -hmm. More important, I uh, get so many international customers. Mm. One year later, they come back. I really appreciate it, I really like them. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Come to me through all, all of the, from the world, and they come back. It's like, oh, Mr. Well, okay. and they I like that. And uh, I, 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 I want to do that, I want to keep doing it that way. So.